So, I have, since about the age of 15, or actually 14, been committed to the idea of becoming a full-time fiction writer. So, I've published one book so far, um, which I look back on um, some aspects of it and think very highly of them, and some aspects I regret in, 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 uh, including in the book. But, um, I'm working on a new book now, and over in the now four, three to four years since the first book I wrote, Rebellious, was um, published, I have gained more skill as a writer, um, mostly by, uh, most of it actually resulted from the time I watched a movie called Quills, which is about uh, Marquis de Sade, who was a writer of pornography in um, a time when that was um, against the law. And it was about him being locked up in an asylum and writing despite the keepers of him um, trying their best to prevent him from doing so, uh, which I thought was inspirational for obvious reasons. But uh, one of the things that uh, it was a religious asylum, so there was a pastor there, and one of the things that the pastor said to criticize Marquis de Sade's writing, he was trying to suggest that he write about a happier subject rather than a pornographic one. Um, he said um, something to the effect of, uh, in response to what Marquis said to him, he said, ah, you're a writer that um, writes more than he reads. A true sign of an amateur. Now, this this film is set um, hundreds of years in the past, so um, I have the fortune that I haven't. I'm not. I'm often not a very avid reader. I'm more of a watcher, uh, so I have the fortune that I can learn from learn to write better um, from watching things or even listening, just pure audio, rather than reading. Um, so, from then on, I started looking at different works and, you know, different shows that I'd be watching anyway, but see, in, from, from a critical eye of how I could learn things from a story that I saw somewhere else, and have... Maybe if I want a bit, the viewer to, view, to feel very pleased uh, to discern what made the a particular moment in a story pleasant so that I can replicate that myself, or what made a moment uh, sad, or scary, or shocking. Um, and once I find what that thing is that causes that response, I it becomes easier and easier to replicate with practice in my own story. So, I'm able to make my stories better by having them have a greater emotional grip on the readers. Um, now, just watching um, other stories normally um, was helping immensely, but what really um, started helping was when I began, I stumbled upon a, a genre of video on YouTube um, where people would take the entirety of a TV show, um, often ones that I watched in my childhood. A notable one was iCarly, um, and they would look at them from a critical eye. I watched a four, it might have been closer to five hour video analyzing, I don't think it even managed to get the whole show in the video of iCarly and the way all of the characters interact and change over the course of the show, despite, in my mind, the show having been very simple and um, entertaining, I actually realized how complex a lot of the stuff 
a lot of the relationships and such in the show were. Um, for example, uh, there were two characters, the main character, Carly, and uh, a character named Freddy, who was interested in her romantically, who every episode there was some implication of Fred attempting to pursue Carly and Carly rejecting him. But um, I then learned that how important having something like that in a story is because one of the the most viewed episode ever of iCarly was an episode called I Saved Your Life where it appears that Carly began to reciprocate Freddy's romantic feelings. Um, and the reason why that is is of course because viewers became emotionally invested in Freddy's pursuit and it was culminating in this big um, event that when it premiered more people watched that episode of iCarly than had ever watched any episode on its premiere day before when it first aired on television. I believe I was among those people actually um, because I do recall being very excited to see how that all turned out. Um, yeah, so the point of this video is just to um, describe how over time I learned the importance of having a viewer have an intense emotional reaction to your story, and how over time and with practice and with probably watching days of analyses videos on stories I've already read, watched, played, listened to in the past, um, I was able to learn how to effectively replicate um, strong emotional responses to fiction and how with this new book I'm writing, The Dog's Day, as well as other works, like I'm telling the story, I'm heavily beginning to plan out how to tell the story of my friend Norman on uh, our Kindovella series. Look up Thumas Lang on Amazon. Um, I'm going to tell the story of my friend Norman on um, Kindovella, and I'm able to use these to tell his story, even though it's a true story, I'm able to tell it in a much more compelling way. And really, this is just a documentation of my growth as a writer. Um, and hopefully, if any of you are writers or pursue anything, I hope that this can give you an idea of what you guys can do to be able to master your craft to a greater extent as well. Um, but until next time, um, thank you for watching.